now in New Jersey. Powered by Tap Into. Brought to you by Lakeland Bank. Thanks for joining us on this Monday, January 24th. I'm Christina Baer. This May, New Jersey's ban on single-use plastic products goes into effect, and many businesses are already starting to prepare. Tap into Scotch Plains fanwood publisher John Mooney found that for some businesses, it's a law that may be tough to get used to. I know, for example, in the local shop, right, they've put signs up that say, you know, as of May 4th, we're not going to be doing this. So they're seeding the market. Um, there are some stores, uh, Aldi, I know, is one of them, and that's a, a growing chain where um, they've never provided the plastic bags and you, you, you kind of bring your own. So if you're a shopper of that supermarket, you're already trained of, oh, I got to bring a canvas bag or, or whatever you're going to bring or else you're going to be carrying your goods like this. <laughs> what was interesting was then to talk to a little bit smaller uh, entities. So one in Fanwood called the Fanwood Larder, it's a local grocery store uh, that does focus on organics. The only bags that they have are compostable bags. It'll be the kind that you would put fruit, bananas, peaches in at, at the store. On the other side of the spectrum was the local Chinese place where they hadn't really known that there was a ban, you know, coming. Uh, so that was one they're like, but pointed out some of the challenges for that type of business, because most people aren't going to walk into the Chinese takeout place with a canvas bag to get their food. Um, and then the other is that they do have paper bags, but that's not ideal if it was paper only because, you know, sometimes the oils or the sauces are spilling over and that gets to the bottom of the bag and it can fall. I imagine there will be some confrontations <laughs> at some of the supermarkets when they say, hey, um, we don't have plastic bags today and people are going to forget and say, why not? But, you know, the, the most important takeaway is May 4th is the cutoff. For more information on the plastic bag ban and how businesses are preparing, head over to tap into Scotch Plains at Fanwood. A group of Westfield fourth graders are using their love of creating bracelets for a good cause. According to Tap Into Westfield, the girls created a fundraising enterprise called Gem and Bracelets and are donating a portion of the proceeds to Trailblazers for Kids. That's a pediatric cancer organization created in memory of Livingston teen Jay Kessler, who died of brain cancer. The name Gem and Bracelets is derived from the first letter of each girl's name, and they create a personalized bracelet upon request for all ages and genders. Coming up, they fought for our country. Now, several groups are working together to help veterans by starting a collection. The process of obtaining the PPP loan with the Green Bank was very smooth. I invested my entire life into this beauty bar. I have a beautiful space and with the help of Lakeland, I was able to keep every single person in my team. So to be able to tell them your job is back, we're here, we're open and our business is booming is just great for everyone all around. Welcome back. Three Hasbrook Heights groups recently joined together to start a collection for veterans. According to Tap into Hasbrook Heights, Woodridge, and Teterboro, the Hasbrook Heights Green Team and Contemporary Club collected 250 new and gently used winter coats and a range of personal care products and clothing. Their donations went to a hero's welcome, which said that they were overwhelmed by the amount of donations they received. After reading a Tap into New Brunswick article about the Beauty Plus on George Street going out of business, Sherry Huang came up with an idea to purchase several bags full of hygiene products she thought would help the homeless in New Brunswick. She and 30 others helped divvy them up into smaller samples and then donated them to ARM, Archangel Raphael's mission. To find out more about the mission, head to Tap Into New Brunswick. For your local news 24-7, visit tapinto.net. Thanks for joining us. This has been Now in New Jersey, powered by Tap Into, sponsored by Lakeland Bank.